Hey everyone! As you all know, we've been talking about sports ministry for the last several weeks. What are some ways that we've seen Coach Sean share Jesus with his team? We've seen them praying together, we've seen him inviting players over for dinner, having conversations, doing life together. Pretty ordinary stuff. There's no special formula for sharing the gospel with our friends and neighbors. It's simple. We pray and ask God to give us opportunities. We obey God when He gives us those opportunities. And we live in ways that are different from this world and reflect the love of Christ. Coaching football is one way to build relationships with others to tell them about Jesus. But that's not the only way to share the gospel. You can coach or play any sport, or no sport at all. Whatever you enjoy doing can be a way to open doors to share the gospel. And sadly, some people will always, always ignore the message of the gospel, kind of like how Judah ignored God's prophets and was captured. And let me tell you, it's extra tough when it's close friends or even family who ignore the message of the good news of Jesus. And it's times like those that make me wish that there was just a special thing we could do or say to encourage them to believe. However, that's part of the beauty of our relationship with the God we serve. He invites everyone to follow Him. He died and rose again and will come back and restore and reconcile all of creation. But we have to accept the invitation and declare Him as our Lord and Savior. You and I, we're just vessels. We're messengers of the gospel to the world. That message is the good news of Jesus. Let's be praying for our friends and neighbors and communities that they would come to know Jesus as their King and accept His invitation to follow Him. Let's pray that the Holy Spirit would move in their hearts and their minds. Let's pray for courage to obey God when He gives us opportunities to share Christ. And let's pray that our lives would reflect His character.